Greetings everyone, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we've got a practical topic that's essential for integrating Salesforce with other applications and services, and that is enabling API access in Salesforce. If you've been wanting to explore Salesforce API capabilities, you've come to the right place. But before we dive into all of it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Okay, first things first. All I gotta do is uh, go to the web browser of your choice. I'm using a uh, Google Chrome right now. And then once you landed on the home page of Salesforce, if you do not have an account yet, please create one. And when you create your account, log in with your credentials. Okay. So when you log into your credentials, you will hover to uh, the to the settings here. If you see the the gear icon here, all I gotta do is uh, click that and click setup. Okay, remember that enabling API access in Salesforce really offers a lot of advantages. You know, for one, um will allow you to seamlessly integrate with a wide range of external applications, you know, databases and services, creating a unified ecosystem. This is essential for modern businesses that rely on multiple tools and platforms. And API access enables bi-directional uh, data synchronization between Salesforce and external systems. It ensures that data is up to date and consistent across all integrated mm -hmm. applications, improving data quality, all right? So we have Salesforce API, such as REST and SOAP, and they facilitate the automation of routine tasks and processes, reducing the manual data entry and improving operational efficiency. Because Salesforce APIs can be used to create custom integrations that cater to the specific needs of an organization, and this flexibility allows for tailored solutions that align with unique businesses process, all right? So when you are in the in the setup here all you gotta do is click setup home Okay, so we are here in the the profile. Okay, there you go. So you will be directed to the uh the standard users or the users. Click that. And you have to uh Go to the very bottom, navigate through it, you have to search for the system's permission, and once you uh, check the uh, system permission, you have to go to edit, And then you search for the API enabled, right? So he, the person can now access any Salesforce in API. That simple, okay? Remember, guys, that as your business grows and evolves, API access can scale with your needs, right? So you can continue to add integrations and custom functionalities as your organization expands. So companies that effectively leverage Salesforce APIs can gain a competitive edge by optimizing their processes, enhancing customer experience, and staying agile in dynamic business landscape. Because automation and streamlined workflows reduces manual effort, which translates to, you know, time and cost savings in the long run. And enabling API access, Salesforce empowers organizations to unlock the full potential of their CRM platform, driving efficiency, 
staying competitive in today's interconnected business and environment. It plays a huge, crucial role in achieving a seamless, data-driven, and customer-centric approach for all business operations, all right? So, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you find it entertaining or at least helpful. And if you do so, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. We love having you as a part of our community. You can connect with us on uh, social media. The links are in the description below. Stay on the loop with our updates and behind the scenes content. And I will see you on the next one.